everyone, welcome to this tutorial, part of our photo restoration series. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be doing some photo restoration uh, on this photo and as you can see um, it's torn at the bottom, we're going to put this back and repair, repair some of these and then maybe in part two maybe add some colour to it, put some life back into it. Um, so let's get started. So first off I'm going to make a selection here. I haven't made a tutorial for a while. Uh, I've been suffering with RSI me both on my arms, so I haven't been able to do no photo restoration for a while. And now I'm back. So let's uh, just expand that by three. And then just go up to free transform, and that allows us to move this torn part here. I'm just going to get a rough fix on it. So, I'm not too bothered about the edge because I'm going to be cropping it. So, as long as it's seems like it's a bit missing up here, so that's okay. Let's just that'll do. Let's just uh, deselect that, and then uh, get the patch tool up like so. tiny selection like so. Let's move that up like that. Deselect. And then get our clone tool. And then just clone the bit, the white bit that is left. need to do now is uh, we need to uh, crop this so we're going to use file automate crop and straighten and it just straightens it up and crops it for us and we just tidy it up with another crop it's really used for more just straightening the object really but we now we can see once I've done that there's a big white bit down here that's okay just gonna run this up like so like that now I'm rushing so take more time let's just give you a rough idea what you've got to do really because I let's just get this patch to wear and then just drag that to there deselect that start to we can then start to uh, tidy up on the face area so what I want to do now is get onto me um, healing brush I can see a few more little areas that I can just touch up like so Sometimes uh, just zoom in a bit so you see where you're working. Okay, I can see a few blistery marks up here. We get our reading brush like so. Just deal around this area around here, bit of the air. And whenever you're 
using the uh, clone tool healing brush try to get as close to the damaged part as possible because that's where it's more there's more of a likeness to to the actual part that's missing or that way you keep the same sort of look well that's my take on it anyway and this is probably going to be a three part tutorial or two part it's depending on how long it takes but I think it's possible we could get it I wouldn't have thought it would be more than three this is why you don't see many uh, restoration videos from start to finish because of the amount of time they take but what I'm going to do is try and get as much done as possible so you can just see roughly how, how it's done or, or an idea how to do it and then you can do a better job that's the idea anyway okay we just need to do that little crease the uh, healing brush I mean you can you don't have to use the healing brush you can use the clone tool whatever you feel comfortable with yourself you know there's no right or wrong way to do it whatever gets you to the same healing process it doesn't matter uh, fixing process it doesn't matter you know what I mean if you use the healing brush it works good for you then use it if you use the clone tool then use it really okay so let's just get that clone tool back here lots of sometimes mix with mix the two this up a little bit further I mean, like this healing brush is fantastic really to what for what it does I think what it has over the clone tool is sometimes a clone tool gets a bit choppy a bit you know you can see all the pixelations being moved about and it does show up a bit more well, that's what I think anyway anyway I'm going to wrap this video up now and uh, I'll see you in part 2 so I'm going to finish off this photograph and put some colour to it. I'll see you there. Bye for now.